A special kind of history was made on Tuesday night at the track. Richmond, British Columbia's own Cameron Rogers became the very first Canadian to win gold in hammer throw and in doing so made all kinds of history. More history than that. Okay, let me see if I can remember everything. Uh, first Canadian woman to win a medal of any kind in the event. Correct. First, first gold medalist from Canada, woman, to win a track and field slash athletics gold medal since 1928. Yeah, I didn't even That's hear absurd. that. That's absurd. I didn't even know about that stat until I was going through um, all the media afterwards. We go through like the the different like passageways of all the media people and someone said that to me and I was like, there's no way. That's not possible. And they're like, nope. That's that's an actual stat, and it was shocking because I feel like I don't know. I feel like that's very unbelievable. <laughs> Something well, it's, that's crazy. it's believable, and now we'll start a new streak with you that hopefully doesn't last this long. And then, of course, with Ethan winning on uh, Sunday, we sweep. And I saw the video you were watching him when he won, and you were so oh. happy for him. And it's so—I mean—you just amazing. have a, a beautiful personality. You're constantly smiling. You have like this <laughs> joie de vivre, as they say here in France. Like you're just ah, so happy. <laughs> um, when you saw him do that. Obviously, you're happy for him, but did you feel like, all right, now I gotta, I gotta, I gotta sweep this for us? I mean, two years in a row, pressure is on because yeah. he started off with men's hammer last year at Worlds too, and I was like, okay, Ethan, dang, you're coming out yeah. so hot right now. <laughs> but he is such an incredible athlete and like an even better person. And to, I've had two of our guys in the final, including my training partner Rowan Hamilton, and then have Adam Keenan. Like this is, this is his last ever competition of his career, and he gets to call himself an Olympian. Like it's amazing. We have so many incredible throwers who are part of our team, who are on Team Canada, and are going out there and showing the best of what Canada has to offer on the big stage. It was also great to be able to share our sport with more people and to also learn about them. And so it's a see him just relish in that joy of being an Olympic champion and then to run over to his coach Dylan and then his girlfriend Kelsey like that was so sweet and I don't think I'd ever actually seen her like I've seen pictures of her and she looks so cute and they just looked so happy afterwards I like those are the moments that you feel like I felt so much for him there just because I mean there's so much that gets you to that point in right. your life and in your career and it's it's a lot of those people who are able to be there with you and for you along the way. So I'm glad you got to share that with some of the people that matter the most and mean the most to him. I love everything about your story. I love the connection that you have with your mom. I love how this necklace that you gave her has now become famous. <laughs> when you're, you're a seven-year-old and you're giving your mom, you know, most seven-year-olds aren't giving their parents presents. They're expecting presents to be given to them. Do you remember she... like the story around how you got this necklace and now it's become like her good luck oh, charm, right? Oh man, I wish I did. I feel like it's been so long. I think I got it at like a, like a, like a crap fair. It's a crap fair of some sort, uh, maybe. Um, Maybe like my elementary school or something. It's, oh man, I wish I knew, but all I know is I gave it to her and she has not taken it off. Incredible. Since. It's been there with her for, for I guess, yeah, for every day since. So I think it's pretty special now that it's, that it's so famous, uh, but also that it means so much to, to her and also to me. And for, that's her way of it really being able to experience those big moments with me because she doesn't watch my throws so she Where holds is she on when you're when you're throwing she's i closes mean her eyes she closes her wow. eyes she doesn't watch she's sitting there but can't no, bear to watch she she says it stresses her out oh so my gosh much. so for for her that's her way of supporting and showing love you guys have been through so much together i'm just wondering if you remember what you said to her that that hug when you guys hugged, when you saw her and were able to hug her after you won, do you remember Between what, the tears? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> do you remember what you said to her or what she said to you in that moment? Oh, I mean, for her, she, so, she always texts me in the days leading up to competition. She's literally been texting me, like, inspirational and motivational pictures and quotes. So, and she always finishes it off, especially, like, I think in all her posts, too, like, a uh, my greatest joy, my shining star. Uh, and so she was just saying that to me and how proud she was to call me her daughter, how grateful she was. I was like, no, I'm grateful for you. Like I could never, I would never even be able to ask or wish or hope for anyone better to be my mom. And for her to be here and for us to share that moment together for her, I mean, there's so much that I don't know about and probably 
will never know about that she sacrificed for this to happen. And so if anything, this medal is more hers than it's mine. You're an absolute joy. So happy for you. Uh, Thank the whole you. country is so proud of you. You make history. Uh, both you and Ethan have, have made everyone so proud. As Devin likes Thank to say, you. we're now a, a hammer throwing nation, Let's and it's because go. of you and Ethan. So well done. Congratulations. Thank and thank you so much for the time. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks, Canada. <laughs> Paris Tonight is brought to you by Smart Water.